Hey guys, now let us discuss this simple problem on single plate clutch. So, the question is a car engine rated at 10 kW gives a maximum torque of 100 Newton meter. The clutches is of 14 single plate type, both sides being effective. If the coefficient of friction is 0 0.3, mean axial pressure is limited to 0.1 Newton per meter and the ratio of radii of friction surface is 1.25 find the dimension of the clutch plate and total axial pressure which must be exerted by the spring there have the formula you use so guys this is a question now let, let us start with the answer so first writing the data we get from the question that is here we get the power that is 10 kilowatt then after that we get a maximum torque that is torque equals to 100 newton meter and in here we get a number of plates n equals to 14 the now we get the friction that is mu equals to 0 0.3 and after we get the mean axial pressure is limited to 0.1 that is mean pressure equals to 0.1 per meter and after that we get the ratio of red eye of friction surface that is R1 to R2 equals to 1.25 and so on Now we know that C equals to P max into R2 where P max we get that is 0 0.01 into R2 where R2 equals to R1 by 1.25. R2 into 10 raised to 6 because we have converted this Newton per mm square into Newton per meter square that is 0 0.01 into 10 raised to 6 Newton per meter square so we get C velocity as now torque transmitted by clutch can be written as torque transmitted by clutch can be written as torque equals to n into half for single plate clutch this formula is given r1 plus r2 since we know that w equals to maximum axial thrust that w equals to 2 pi c r1 minus r2 where we got the C from here you can see just placing it we get 2 pi 0 0.01 into 10 raised to 6 R2 1.25 R2 minus R2 so we get after calculation 15707.96 R2 square so we got W now just putting it inside we get since the value of the torque transmitted is 100 100 and number of plates are 14 into half into 0 0.3 when mu equals to 0 0.3 into 15707.96 r2 square into r1 plus r2 so after solving this we can get the value of r as r equals to r2 equals to 0 0.1104 meter in millimeter 1.0 dot 45 mm so after calculation we get these following values 
so the maximum exhale thrust can be given as maximum exhale thrust is W equals 15707.96 into R2 square. After placing this R2 value, we get the answer W at exhale thrust maximum 2994.30. So this is the maximum exhale thrust we get in this numerical.